up guys dad dash here and i am back with another ride along and today we've got a very special uh companion today as i am going to be test driving if i can get this out of this stupid case the new um a53 samsung a53 and why is this special because as you know if you know about this channel i'm I, I, one of the goals is to try to bring you uh tech that is usable for gig work and my goal is is to try to provide not just the best tech because not you know we want that but we want the most affordable best tech and I, that is my pursuit and uh, this phone right here i believe could be could be the best android phone for your money maybe the one that everyone can afford because it comes in at 449 before discounts carrier discounts freebies and etc so i am going to be testing this out testing out my workflow i've got all my apps loaded on here uh, all my regulars i've got uh doordash uh grubhub uber eats roadie shipped walmart spark uh instacart and i'm going to be running them all day today i've got the battery charged up at 100 percent. it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery so this should last for a pretty long time i think i don't know it's definitely not going to make it the whole day running all that in the background i've got everything bubbled up if you've seen my video on how i organize s22 ultra it's exactly the same we're going to run this test this and see if it can withstand the workflow or if i'm going to have to get out my other phones to try to get through my day. So we'll see what happens, guys. I'll keep you posted. Right now, we are on an order from Rody, $15 Walmart order, $5 base, $10 tip. First time I've ever taken one of these, and it's going to be using the new Samsung A53. So let's jump on that. The other thing I got with this is they gave me a free set of uh, buds, uh, Samsung wireless earbuds. I normally use AirPods, so I'm going to be wearing those today and testing those out along with this too. Because you, if you get the Black Friday deal right now on Samsung, you get the same deal as well. And uh, having a nice set of earbuds that you can use and utilize, especially also if you have multiple phones, I did verify and it has tested out that you can literally log into your Samsung account and it, it just like the Apple AirPods, it'll go right across without any any stuttering, any stopping. So anyways, guys, let's get going. We're going to be doing one phone multi-apping today. It's going to be a challenge. We're going to see how much money we can make. We are active, like I said, on all the major apps. DoorDash right now is on pause. Uh, Grubhub, Uber Eats is off. And of course, the other shopping apps are running in the background. So we can see if there's any other opportunities to take after we get done with this Walmart one. Let's get on the road. I'll be back to update you periodically throughout the day. Talk to you guys, soon. So we went ahead and uh, made the pickup and we are on our way to the customer so a couple of reflections on this phone if you're thinking about picking one up the first thing i noticed right away it's running everything pretty smoothly as of now however it is very it's a little bit it, it's definitely a little laggier it's slower now if you've never used a flagship level samsung device you probably would not necessarily notice it but it is definitely um significantly slower so uh, just keep that in mind, but we are, drive. the pickup, well, there was only about a five minute wait to Walmart, so not bad at all, and we are about to pull up to the customer's house, so I'll be back to update you here shortly. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, we did deliver the order, everything got delivered um, with the Spark order, or with, I guess it was the Roadie order, not Spark. Um, so uh, the Walmart Roadie order got delivered, no problems, dropped off, customer came out, picked it up, I, I watched the customer do it, so everything's good with that. Um, and then we got this order right here that you're looking at, 725 sushi uh, restaurant, six items, five miles, although the total is only $19 because some of that is sauce. So I expected this to probably pay out at $225, $5, uh, but hey, you know what, that puts us at $22.25. And we should be in range of a couple of restaurants up there that I think you get us some more relatively quickly. So let's see if that plays out. You guys, let's go in there and go pick up that food right there. That's the restaurant. Let's head in. And I'll be back to update you soon. All right, guys. Order has been picked up. It's in the back. And we are heading to the customers. We've got about an eight-minute drive. So, guys, I will see you there at the drop-off. All right, guys, so we did successfully uh, deliver the, the sushi restaurant food. So there it is right there. I, I, I thought I told you I thought it would be a $5 tip, $2.25 base pay. I was right. So um, we are now here in one of my 
favorite shopping centers. You can see that's one of my favorite restaurants over here to, to deliver for on this end, and that's Red Lantern. And then you've got King's Pizzeria. Uh, so there's only those two restaurants, but I'm hoping something comes from there. Also, Jordan's Deli is there as well. And of course, we, we have the Food Lion right over there where Instacart uh, has a lot of orders. So I'm hoping we can find something on this end without having to drive too far, but we will uh, certainly uh, find out. So, so with that said, guys, we are gonna go ahead and wait here for a few more minutes and then we're gonna head up the road if nothing comes. Um, hopefully something does. I'm looking probably more towards the shopping apps to come through because it is about two o'clock right now and that's when lunch normally dies down on the food delivery apps. So anyways, guys, as soon as I have an order to report, as soon as I've got something, I will be back to come back and show you in the meantime, guys, stay profitable. And hopefully if you're watching this while you're making money, make some money as well. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, so we are working on our next order. Got a Jersey Mike's 1250. Got it in the car, already picked up, had a slight wait, but we've got about a 15 minute drive to the customer. So let's go get this delivered and we should be coming in right on time to get this delivered and get this first order of the dinner hour booked. Hopefully we get another one soon right after. And of course, as always, I'll be back to update you All right, guys, so I'm back. So on the way to drop off the Jersey Mike's, we got that offer to us, but I wasn't able to claim it before somebody else did. But look at that offer, $69.37, 15 miles on Instacart. My question is, would you take that offer for 15 miles and $69? Um, it looks like it was for 30, a 37 item shop, um, and it's at a Martin's, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with Martin's or not, but Martin's is very popular around here. It's really not a bad place to shop. Um, it's not as laid out as well as a food line. Um, they just don't have as good instructions um, when it comes to laying out items and bringing you exactly to where the items are that they want you to find. So um, that was the first offer right there that we got. Um, and then... We arrived at the customer and our payout, let me show it to you here. Our payout for that order ended up being $13.25 for $11 customer tip, $2.25 base. We got this offer from Uber. I turned it down. I did not like the, that many miles and where it was gonna take me because right there, I've been out to Winter Camp Trail. I did it for like $35, but I'm not doing it for less than a dollar a mile. And there's no, there's no, you know, there's no way to get an order out there. There's not even cell phone service out there. So we moved on to this one. DoorDash probably hit us up with this for five. We are now on an, an order with DoorDash right now for $12 for Papa John's. So we're going to go, we're at the Papa John's now. We're going to go get this order picked up. Hopefully it's ready. This Papa John's has a reputation for making me wait quite a bit but we're hopeful that that won't be the case and we're gonna book this $12. So, let's click arrived and see what we got. We got an Alfredo Papa Bowl, a Shacaroni pizza. I've been wanting to try one of those and a cheese stick, so, or cheese sticks. So, anyways, and then let's check. Subtotal, please. No subtotal list. So, Probably a face value order. It might be a little bit more. I don't know. It's twelve dollars. It's kind of an odd amount because two twenty-five is our minimum, and uh, that would mean this might be a three and nine. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyways, guys, let's go get this picked up, and I'll be back with an update soon. All right, guys. So we're on another order. McDonald's nine dollars. We got it shortly after. We finished the last order. Now, the last order was a face value payout. Let me go back here and show it to you. $4 base pay, $8 customer tip. So, and then we got an offer from Grubhub shortly thereafter. We turned that one down. You can see my phone is still going off. Um, and then we got a King's Rotisserie Chicken, 14 and a half miles. Shame on DoorDash for even offering that after they drove me uh, all the way out here. And then I got a McDonald's 475, 4.2 miles. Then a Pizza Hut, 
I considered this one, but I said, no, too many miles. I didn't like where it ended up. It was out here in the country. And then we've got this one here. And then you can see right here, here is the order count, guys. We got sweet tea, root beer, four-piece chicken McNugget, 10-piece chicken McNugget, triple cheeseburger. So, um, actually, let's go back in here and we'll show it to you. Triple cheeseburger, cheeseburger, and filet of fish meal. So, we got some drinks. I got to make sure we get all the drinks, all that stuff. And uh, like I said, it's a $9 offer going six miles. So, we're going to jump in here to get this picked up. And I'll be back to report after we get this delivered. Talk to you soon. So, I'm back here. So, uh, we got that order delivered for McDonald's. And we ended up with $9.25 for $7.00. Tip 225 base pay. So DoorDash hit 25 cents on that one. What sense that makes, I have no idea. So as we're driving away, I get this order right here. 1022, 6.5 miles. Now remember, Grubhub is including the miles from where I was at when I accepted the order uh, to the restaurant and then to the customer. So not bad at all. We are at the Taco Bell right now. There you can see it right there. And we are going to run in there right now and go get that order so let's do the rundown here they also sent us this order to an add-on and we're going to be dropping off like right back here behind the restaurant and then they were going to have us go to sheets which is like over here right and then come back down and around and i went ahead and said no we're not going to do that i think we can do better um because i think we can get this delivered pretty quickly um you know without having to worry about all that business so let's take a look what do we got what are we delivering quesarito Beefy melt burrito, chips, nachos, cheese sauce. I don't see any drinks. So this should be a relatively easy pickup. Uh, let's get inside there. And I go pick this up. And I'll be back to update you when we get this delivered. All right, guys. So Dad Dash here. I'm going to give you a summary here. And then uh, I'm going to... We're going to end up... Uh, end the ride along um, tonight. So there it is, guys. We, we That was the payout for the Grubhub order. You can see there, three dollars and forty-seven cents, six seventy-five tip, right? So, following that, we ended up. I ended up mistakenly accepting this order here. Now, you might look at that and say, "Well, that doesn't look too too bad, right?" Except for the fact that we're on a dollar peak, so it's really five seventy-five uh, for three point seven miles. But I stuck with the order. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a wait, and it really turned into a to not be such a great order. Um, so we ended up with the payout exactly what I knew it was going to be two twenty five one dollar peak and three dollars and fifty cent customer tip, and that ended our dash so um let's go in here and let's round it up. Let me pull up the figures for today. I already have them factored up. so what did we do today guys? um here it is all right, so let's look. we worked. what did we work? so I worked twelve fifty to one fifty three and then four ten to seven fifteen. So if you're wondering, that's 4.13 uh, hours. Now, what did we make for that? We drove 75 miles, made $73.72. We made 51.25 in tips. We made a dollar in peak pay and 21.47 in base pay. So um, we had seven total dashes in an average order value, unfortunately of only $17.84. So that was very, 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 very weak. Um, and then you figure we had a $21.58 delivery value. Now that's our actual work rate. So that, that's what you would say. That's what we earn for the work time. And you're going to see what the problem was right here. Uh, well, actually, no, that's not what the problem was. We had an 82% work rate. So we were well over 80%, which is where I like to live. We had 35 minutes per order. Our main issue was we just did not get enough good orders. We just, we, you know, the order acceptance, the orders that I accepted, I think were a little, they look good, but they took too long. So you can see we spent, there's where the issue is right there, 35 minutes in order. It was too long. Our wait time was an average wait time of eight minutes. That was, so that was excessive. That's in the red. Our average per order was $10.53. So we just did not accept orders that were high enough for the time it was taking us to complete them. 
And then here's a rundown of the orders that we did um, right here. So you can see we started out with a Walmart with Rody. I don't have Rody in there, but we started out with our Rody with Walmart. Then we did our Tokyo, and there's the offers that we got. $15, $7.25, $12.50, $12.09, $12 and $10.22, and $6.75. And then there's the payouts we got. Only one, only two hidden tips, um, and they did not result in that much. Right? Basically, $1.25 in hidden tips. So we ended up, and then here is the most important uh, figure right there, order value. So you can see the order value was not good. We started out with a really good one, $34.62. And remember, we don't even know for, for another day for another two days, whether or not we actually get 15 bucks on that order or not. <clears throat> the next order, poor order value. Next order, got better. The next one, you can see it's like one and the other. And then basically the last four orders of the day were just not good enough. They were not good order values, not for dinner time, not for the time we were working. And then we were drove way too many miles, had too much wait time. And that was just the story of the day. So guys, um, let me flip this camera around here. All right, so guys, that's pretty much the story of the day. Um, now, on the topic that I'm sure all of you want to know about, right? What was, what is my final verdict on this phone? And let me pull it out of the holster here. Uh, what is the verdict on the phone? And my verdict on this phone, gosh darn it, this thing is so hard to get out of the stuff because my, my clip there is broken. So, What's the verdict on this phone right here? Um, I used it for the entire day. How, what effect do I think it had? I think it had a great effect on things. One of the reasons why I think that, um, I, you know, I didn't earn as much is because it was slow. The orders, everything was slow. The interface was slow. Um, I, I don't know that I was getting really good cell phone signal either. Um, so I think I may have been missing out on some orders. I don't think it was as good, but you know, my, this was, this was not, this is not the place in my lineup. I'm not bringing this phone in or on board if I keep it to be my main phone. But I wanted to test it out and see what would it be like if I had it as my main phone. My verdict is a no. Do not make this your main phone if you're going to be trying to do intensive multi-apping. Now, I'm going to try a couple of different scenarios because I want to try them out. The next scenario I'm going to try out is I'm going to turn off all the shopping apps and I'm going to just do a three app setup and I'll have my shopping apps running on a second phone so I can still keep them in the mix. But I want to see how well does the phone perform. It's very laggy. You know, at some points, the more apps I had open in the background, the laggier it got, the more, the slower it got, and the more caught up it got. And that's a problem. But um, as a singular phone, as a, you know, a second or a third phone, where do I think this phone is? I think this is an excellent choice, potentially. But we're going to test that out because I want to see, is this, is this the, you know, there is a difference in the processor uh, and not to get into the techie specs of everything, but this is a different processor than a lot of the other lineups, a lot of the other phones in the Samsung lineup, because this has an Exynos process, processor, which is a Samsung developed processor. And I've heard bad things about that. I've heard that it has caused slowdowns and stuff. And that might just be the problem here that maybe we can't overcome. But we'll find out, guys. I'm going to continue testing this thing out. I've got this thing for another couple of days. I don't have to return it until, make a return decision until probably middle of next week. And I'm intending to take this out this weekend, take this out early next week, and test the heck out of this thing to see where this comes in to give you guys feedback. Because to me, from a price standpoint, this is the iPhone SE in the lineup of uh, Samsung. So, you know, we need to, you know, this is, this is the one that a lot of people are going to have access to. And I want to tell you what it is and what you can do. And this one might be one, you know, say, Hey, buy two of them. Um, and then you can run, you know, or buy three of them for the price of one S 22 ultra, you can get three phones. So again, there's a lot of decisions to be made. There's a lot of stuff, information I want to bring you on this phone before I make a decision of whether or not I replace this, my S 10 E out with this phone, or maybe I go back to the drawing board and keep the S 10 E. Anyways, guys, let, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I appreciate you coming along with me today. We didn't make the money I wanted to. We missed our goal of 120. Sometimes that happens. You know, uh, it just is what it is. We get back on the horse. I'm going to definitely evaluate it. I think it was just a bad day. I ended up allowing myself into a weaker section of my market. 
uh, away from the big heavy hitter restaurants like I did last night. I was out for two hours and I made $65. So, you know, just the difference in where I was at. I was working a different section. So anyways, guys, um, you know, if you're out there, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share this video. And of course, as always, stay safe, stay profitable. And guys, I'll be talking to you real soon.